Your savior is here! Loki is one of the biggest villains in the Marvel Universe across many, many films. He's got a smile that will slay you, but behind the eyes, you can see something else going on. Destroy everything. The good thing about Loki in the first one was that you could feel for him and understand sort of why he was doing it. He's the scorned son. He did get a raw deal compared to the guy with the hammer and the blonde, beautiful hair. I could have done it, Father! At the end of Thor, we see Loki let go, quite literally, of Asgard. And people think, is he dead? Where's he gone? He went on a journey, and he came back from that journey a new man. Sir, please put down the spear. His motivation is to gain absolute power. He's come to Earth to rule the human race. You were made to be ruled. In the very first issue of Avengers, it was Loki that was causing trouble that brought all the Avengers together to defeat him. That was always our starting point. And in Thor The Dark World, Loki's been locked away in the dungeon in Asgard. No more illusions. He's kind of walking the line about which sides he's going to fall to, and is it going to be the Loki we've come to know, or is it the one we previously knew? If you even think about betraying him, you'll kill me? The way he achieves his redemption, his salvation, is to ultimately sacrifice himself for Thor. No! We left Thor and Loki on a bit of a cliffhanger. Loki's now ruling Asgard. He's taken on the guise of Odin. We have some fun with that. All right, I yield! And then it really kicks off from there. This will be such fun. Thor has kind of cottoned on to the cycle. Okay, I trust you, you betray me. I trust you, you betray me again. The cycle goes on and on. And Loki has to adapt for perhaps the first time. Okay, I thought the world of you. I thought we were gonna fight side by side forever, but at the end of the day, you're you and I'm me. The relationship between Thor and Loki is stronger than ever. And it's kind of a perfect way to end this first cycle of these films. Do you really think it's a good idea to bring me back to Earth? The next chapter of Loki's journey honors what has come before, but will be surprising for the audience in terms of what they expect next. It doesn't get bigger than this. Avengers Infinity War, everybody's on the field, everybody's playing to win, and I think it is the culmination of a dream.